Hey guys, welcome to Taiwan on Fishing. Today I'm on Lake St. Clair, drop shotting for some smallmouth. It's my first time fishing this new bait, the Jackal Rhythm Wag. Had a great time, caught tons of fish. Check it out. Jumping. It's a good bass. Oh yeah. Oh my god. goodness check that out oh man on the jackal rhythm wag oh man so essentially all I'm doing here is fan casting my drop shot around a depth transition and we've got a bunch of sparse really low grass here i think these fish kind of cruise and are, are feeding and living up in it as i'm dragging my bait along the sand i'll feel a little bit of grass and i feel it on the bottom of my drop shot weight as i pull it off a lot of times i'm getting a bite either on the next little hop or as the bait falls back down kind of go with a couple different baits uh sometimes just a soft tail minnow or soft minnow imitation or if I'm trying to cover a little more water sometimes I'll, I'll go with the soft paddle tail like a Kai Tech Easy Shiner. So we just caught that fish and it looks like I'm actually marking one right beneath us again. I don't know if it's gonna jump or not, but. Good fish though. So this is essentially what I'm seeing when I'm wanting to drop down on some fish there, especially that back mark there.
working with this fake small is you got to make sure to take your time light drag i'm only using a uh, 10 pound braid with an eight pound leader my rig a little bit here I've got a G Loomis NRX 902 I'm not saying that you need this rod but basically I like a seven foot six medium light uh, for my drop shot rig I feel I can cast my drop shot a little bit further um, I'm also got it paired with a Shimano Stratic FL uh, 2500 size really the 2500 and 3000 are the same reel uh, for the most part just a larger spool size on the 3000 I like the uh, regular handle rather than the T handle on the 3000 or well on the 2500 compared to the 3000 so I run 10 pound super slick v2 in uh, blue I mean typically you're not gonna want the fish to see this braid so I always run a leader um, but what the high vis line helps me do is when I slack line my bait I can see if that line jumps just a visual cue for when I can see how my bait's hidden bottom or if a fish is starting to swim off with it, especially if my line's slack. So here I've got my drop shot rig, got my hook with that jackal rhythm wag tail. And then I run about uh, about a foot to, to a foot and a half. It probably started out of a, about a foot and a half, I just lost a weight. And then I clip my tungsten 3 8 ounce to half ounce depending. Uh, I'm trying to fish a little bit faster, so I'm casting far. I'm just swimming this minnow along the bottom. You want it to be heavy enough to where you can keep that weight on bottom and you can move your lure without picking the weight up all the time. Wow, another one. We're just gonna net her. Can't even see the bead in there. Check that out. Something you'll notice me do pretty regularly is keep my eyes open for weeds, any weed patches, um, and on my graphs. So as I mark a fish beneath me or some weed or, or any type of structure, here we go. I'm looking to see if there's a fish. Oh my goodness, yeah, on the uh, on the graph. So I just ran over this weed patch here, and the graph is picking up all the way to the top. And even though I just cast it. I decided to reel up and drop down. There we go. Nice. Little guy, but... 
One key thing that I think is really important for fishing in very clear water is using a very long leader. Uh, while I do love the benefits of braid, the downfall being visible, you don't want any of these finicky smallmouth to be able to give them a reason not to bite your bait. Uh, I typically run an FG knot and then I have enough line for my bait to be on the hook keep and a couple wraps into the reel. By the time I'm netting the fish, I want my knot to be on my reel. If it's in the guide, sometimes while you're fighting the fish, they'll hang up a little bit. Um, and as the fish wants to take off or move, uh, if that knot's hanging up, you can break off. back to the launch, decided to make a quick stop on this shoal. It's literally, we didn't put down the trolling motor, made one cast or two casts with the drop shot rig. And there you go. Watched her chase it in. Thanks so much for watching Taiwan on Fishing. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe to see more fishing content. Thank you.